digestion. Now in this particular example, we are going to use the same speech that we had actually taken in our previous example when we were doing tokenization and stemming. So initially, we'll import the library that is called as NLTK. Always remember guys, NLTK is the most important library in text pre-processing in NLP, that is natural language processing. So first of all, I'm going to import NLTK. So while it is getting imported, I'm going to introduce to a library which is called as WordNet Lemmatizer. Now WordNet Lemmatizer is the library that is responsible for doing this lemmatization function. So in order to import this library, I have to import it from nltk.stem, right? So nltk.stem, I'm importing this WordNet Lemmatizer. And I have also introduced in my previous video about stop words, right? Stop words is the library that is responsible for removing some of the words over here like of, is, the, that, to, is. So these all words does not make a meaningful or does not play a better role when we are doing sentiment analysis because sentiment analysis usually happens on positive and negative words, right? If we find a positive word in a particular sentence, um, then we can we can think uh, we can guess at least it is a positive or a negative sentence so this kind of words that we have like and the of the all this kind of us all these words can be removed by using the stop words which we have already discussed in our previous video right now going forward again my first step is i'm going to first of all import Import and execute these three lines that is importing the library WordNet Lemmatizer, importing the library that is stop words, and you know the variable that is created that is paragraph, which is having my complete paragraph. Now you can see that the variable is created in the right hand side. The next thing that I'm going to do is that I am going to convert this whole paragraph into sentences, right? So once we convert this whole paragraph into sentence, and how can we do that? We'll be using a function that is present inside NLTK, which is called as sent underscore tokenize. So once I execute this, you can see that I'll, I'll convert this whole paragraph into sentences and let us see how many different sentences we'll be getting. So we are getting around 31 sentences. So these are all my sentences, right? Now, the next step is that what we will do is that we will import the, the library that was import for lemmatization, imported for the lemmatization that is WordNet Lemmatizer. I'm going to create an object for this. So here is my lemmatizer object that is created from this particular WordNet Lemmatizer. So let me just execute this and guys responsible. This object will be responsible for doing the lemmatization function. Okay. Fine. This has got executed perfectly. Now, these four lines are the most important line in this. And it is almost similar like how we did it for stemming. Just there will be a small difference. So first of all, I'll go and put a for loop in the list of sentences that I have. So I'm using range of length of sentences. As soon as I execute length of sentences, you can see that if I execute the length of sentences over here, I'll be getting a value as 31. I've got the value as 31. So when I write range of 31, that basically makes, makes a range of 0 to 31. So 31 times this loop will run. Then in the first loop, what it is going to do is that it's going to take that sentence, the first sentence, and then it is going to convert into words. How it is going to convert into words? By using the NLTK dot word underscore tokenize function. So once we execute this, our words is actually created. A lot of words will be created here, right? So from the first sentence, for each and every sentences, we'll be creating the word. Then we'll be applying a list comprehension. This is the most important sentence, which is almost like stemming. Only one thing, there will be a difference. For word in words, if that word is not present in stop word, which is in English language, I'm going to take that word. Then I am going to write something like lemmatizer dot lemmatize. Lemmatize is the function. Uh, which is responsible for doing the lemmatization process. And inside that, I'm going to provide that word if it is not present in the stop words. So after I do that, I'll be getting a list of words in this particular words variable. And after that, I take that words, I join it, and I convert back that, that into a sentences. So this sentences will actually consist of all, all the words after removing the stop words and then doing the lemmatization. So it will be consisting of all the lemmatized words in these particular sentences. And this will happen 31 times. That is 
all the basically how many length of the sentences are there with respect to this list they are on 31 31 times this loop will run so once i execute this you can see that let us just after this gets executed let us see the sentences okay it will just take some time i hope so yes now it has got executed now you can see this sentences now i have i3 vision india in 3000 history people word came invaded you so most of the words that were present in stop word like is the that of has got removed and most of the words has also got converted into a meaningful representation word which was the functionality of lemmatization so let me just take an example of history i hope in the previous video you remember that history by using stemi was got getting converted to something like h i s t o r i right but now since i have used lemmatization it will actually convert into a, a representation of a word which is meaningful so it is just left that history word like that similarly there are many words which will get converted into meaningful word so just have a look and just try use different different sentences different different paragraphs just copy a paragraph from wikipedia and try to do it and you'll see the differences both and compare stemming and lemmatization with respect to the output that you get